Hello, this is SIO unboxing part two. The newer version of the SIO was delivered. This is the old version, um, funded by Kickstarter, prototype. This is their boxing anyway. You can notice some of the writing here, the model number, CPS, C001, and it works. They have since upgraded the optical sensor and the light emitter and did away with the temperature sensor on the optical head and thus sent me a new version and we're going to unbox it here and let's get started. Inside here we have another Sio box retail. Now the sticker looks like it's been unsealed. Uh, it's not surprising they have a lot of these packaging and they probably upgraded the sensor, so they just opened the box and reused the packaging in the box. And here you can see the different label. Now I'll do a comparison on these two versions in another video. So let's just open this one for now. Should be similar to the last video. This is the box for the accessories and same thing. This is the solids. Um, the jig for uh, scanning solids so you put something in there that's smaller than usual for the scan area and or multiple things similar items maybe and scan them inside this reflective area now the new version of the SIO similar to the same exactly the same this way let's look at the optical head yep the optical head was changed, the sensor head, to just the sensor and the light emitter. Now I believe the light emitter was upgraded. They did away with the, sen the temperature sensor which was right here. and It's gone. Um, it's supposed to be more accurate and with uh, better sensor abilities. And we will see. We will do a comparison. Now everything in the else in the box here is the same as the rest of the SIO from the first first version. This is the calibration and storage case. Uh, there's a little space in there. You can see that it is uh, for calibrating the sensor. And inside the accessories box. Should be a yep, charge cable, USB charge cable, and the optical shade sensor head. You would add this to give a proper space for scanning an object and also to block a little bit of the ambient light so that you would not uh, contaminate your, your scan. So you'd add this to the end. And all of the the accessories here are held in place um, on the optical head with the use of magnets. So they hold on to them, which is very convenient, um, very strong. There's also another jig you can get off of their website sooner or later, which. Um, allows you to fill a portion of, of uh, the jig with water and to add the SIO onto it so you can analyze some liquids. Now in the next video we'll do some comparisons between these two and um, um, 
get down to an, uh, another operational video showing you how it can be used. Thank you for watching.